I'm really curious because you have had an amazing story that you have experienced and uh, uh, being part of the companies or doing BIM and now you transitioned uh, then to the, your own work, consulting and then education. Mm -hmm. uh, what, like, what kind of advices or pitfalls would you uh, say for people who would also want to transition for, uh, from mm -hmm. a company or business uh, how, well, from companies to the individual business of uh, yeah, still being yeah, yeah. part um, of AAC industry. Yeah, yeah. I get asked this one quite a lot um, by other people wanting to start their own business too. Um, probably my most realistic piece of advice is to save money um, because it's pretty. It's it's not like super expensive if you do it the right way, but it, it does cost a, a decent amount of money to start a business up and. For, to, to begin with, like most companies, they don't make a profit to begin with. Like I'm, I'm lucky that I had a network I could fall back on. But um, I've had other friends that have done this. And for the first month or two, they have like one client maybe. Um, whereas I was quite fortunate to have, you know, more than 10 clients in my first month. Wow. Um, and, you know, more than that now. So it's, um, I think it's just understanding that for a while, it's not going to be like a financially driven decision. It's going to be like a lifestyle and a motivational driven decision. So for me, when I became a consultant, like it wasn't me looking at my role going, hey, I can make more money than, than this because I was, I was getting paid pretty well. So like it wasn't like a financial decision at all. It's just a lifestyle choice saying that like, I want to help more types of people and also raise my exposure yeah. to the industry and also the industry's exposure to me um, and become like more of a, an identity in, in, in BIM and sort of mentor more people through through the industry. Um, so I think that that was my motivation. I think, and as a result, yeah, just don't don't go in expecting to make, you know, heaps of money to begin with. If you do, <laughs> that's great, but like, be ready not to. Like, I was watching a, a presentation recently by some of the other people in the industry, and that was that was their number one piece of advice as well, just to have some money saved up, and you know, ideally, don't take out a loan. Is usually what I tell people as well, because <laughs> a lot of people take out a loan when they start a business, and then all they can think about is money. So like, how am I going to pay off my loan? How am I going to pay off my loan? <laughs> um, or is it's better to sort of not think about money too much? It's better to focus on your marketing and your business growth strategy um, so that you don't just make your business all about making money. Um, so I think that's quite important. Um, but also probably to have a network is really important too because I do meet consultants with like no network and it's 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 sort of sad to watch their, their progress just not go anywhere because no one no one knows who they are and no one knows what they do. And if someone finds them, like to, to get them to your website's so hard usually, even like I can see my click through rate on my website with the people that are coming and leaving in five seconds and it's heaps. <laughs> so <laughs> so like if you don't even have a network, it's like you're not even gonna get them on the website for that one click. Yeah. So it's for sure. um so the network's really important. Um, and just to have authenticity as well, I think, because a lot of people go into business and they don't have that authentic nature. Like what I do is I try to share where I can. Um, and sort of build up that, that um, like that people accept that I do know what I do because as a consultant, like they need to trust that, you know, you know what you're doing. Like I'm, I'm quite lucky that I've got my channel because that's like a really big resume for me, essentially just saying, look at all these things I can do. Um, they're all here <laughs> and they're all free and you can have them if you want. But, but if you want the good stuff, like, you know, I can work with you and, you know, we can go that next step beyond that as well. So I think that they're really important aspects to consider. Yeah. And, and if anyone's thinking of going into like content creation as well, because I guess that's the other avenue that I go into, like it's really important just to just to focus on like a brand as well. Like even as a business too, like a brand can be really important. Like I, I thought quite a while about my brand, even though it seems like I probably didn't because it's just, it's almost the same as my YouTube name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really think about how to, how to relate it a little bit to what I did, but not too much and how to sort of make the branding relate, but not, you know, too much, even like, you know, like my, my channel's green and my, my company's blue, just really little decisions like that, that identify, you know, where people are when they're looking at certain aspects of who you are. Um, I found that was really important. Like all my branding on one side is very distinct and all my branding on the other is like very distinct, but there's similarities between them. So you can sort of still tell that like, it's me, it's my personal brand, but it's like my business, my business and my channel's my channel. Um, and just how to market as well. Like I've, I've had to put a lot of time into learning just good marketing strategies and, you know, search engine op optimization strategies um, just to make sure people can even find your website in the first place. So it, it's complex, but um, yeah, it's one of the sure. most rewarding <laughs> things I've ever done. Um, like I'm loving it. It's it's a rush to own a business. It's such a rush um, because everything is now like in your hands. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah, they're probably the main things I'd say people need to think about 
Um, and just obviously, you know, be ready for weird things like the pandemic to come along and change everything. Yeah. <laughs> <Halfway>. <laughs> and that was like a month after I opened my business that happened. So oh. I was like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> I was like, just, 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 just left a full-time job to do it. And I was like, oh no, but it was actually quite fortunate because a lot of clients needed assistance pretty quickly um, with the, the work from home sort of situations. And yeah, but, um, but yeah, just almost go into business expecting the worst things to happen and just have the, the financial backup and the mental backup for it as well. And yeah, if you can, if you got family to support you, that helps too. Like my family and my partner have been like really supportive um, through the whole process of setting my business up. So I think that's really important too, to have like a support network um, that you can fall back on as well. Yeah. But yeah. They're probably the main things I'd say. Yeah. It's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, but I, like I mean, it's, I like to share, yeah. So, yeah, it's a lot yeah. of, a lot of, uh, risk, but also a lot of opportunities, especially like that lifestyle, as you said, I think it's, uh, really crucial. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm lucky that I saved money for quite a long time. So like I haven't bought a house in Sydney where I live because the, the property prices are insane. They're all like more than a million dollars for a, a, an apartment. So um, as a result, like I'm just renting. So like financially, it's not too bad for me. And like I'm making I'm making money now for my business, so that's good. So like it's not not what I'd make as a BIM manager yet, but it'll get there. So um, so it's, it's been nice not to have to worry about the, the financial aspect too much because I know that's what a lot of businesses fail because of. They focus so much on their profit margin that they never actually market their business or come across as authentic because all they care about is just how much money they're going to make. So yeah. yeah. Money, money is important, but it's a good way to really get a client to be really bored if it's all you talk about. So, yeah, but not loving it. And if anyone wants to reach out to me on my business, like go for it. They're more than happy to just take on requests. I do our mentoring as well. That's one thing I've been doing quite a lot of lately. That's been really rewarding. So just having like a one hour session with like people that are working in the industry and just giving them some advice and tips and sometimes I get quite hands on and I'll, I'll actually build a script for them just right before the session and go, hey, this might solve a problem you've been speaking about and then then i give them the script at the end too and they, they get to play with that so that's really yeah. nice yeah it's good fun 